Hello, Anthony Fasano here from Pass the PE Exam. I get so many listeners that ask me whether they should bother taking the PE exam after the age 30, 40, or even 50. Does age really matter? And when are you too old to take the PE exam? In my opinion, you are never too old for professional development, especially adding the PE license to your resume. And in this video, I will talk about the benefits of studying towards your engineering license when you are older or more experienced. This episode is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. If you have been practicing as an engineer for some time now, and for whatever reason, you never pursued your PE license, or maybe you couldn't pass the exam earlier in your career, and now you're considering pursuing your license or trying the exam again, but you're unsure whether or not it is the right choice for someone at your age, then this is the right video for you. Although a lot of people believe that obtaining a PE license is really for early career engineers, obtaining your PE license can be beneficial to engineers of all ages, whether you've never studied before or you're looking to add to your qualifications, there are some incredible reasons to obtain a PE license. Let's look at some of the benefits of seeking licensure when you are older, or as I like to say, more experienced. You can learn new skills. One of the best reasons to study when older is that you can learn a lot of new skills. Although you may have already have some of the skills that you need for the PE exam, you may find that things have changed since you were a recent graduate. Obtaining a qualification like the PE license later in life can help to boost your self-confidence and leave you feeling fulfilled and proud. Many people find that achieving a career milestone like the PE can really help to improve their overall happiness and morale. You get the chance to meet new people. If you're looking to meet new people, then studying for the PE exam is one of the best ways to find people who have the same common goals and interests as you. Although you may find that a high portion of the students are a little bit younger than you, it doesn't mean you can't build new relationships along the way. And one thing that I have learned in my career is that relationships are absolutely key in engineering and often yield huge opportunities for yourself and your company. Flexible study options. As a busy professional, one of the biggest barriers to pursuing licensure will undoubtedly be enough time to study. However, you have options. Whether you're interested in an online course, part-time studying, or self-study, there are many resources available that can help you. With such flexible study options available, you can choose whether you want to study full or part-time, working around any other existing commitments. You can find a link in the description of this video where we cover the benefits of both self-study and PE review courses. Qualifications. Adding new qualifications to your resume is a great way to boost your career and give you the option to change career paths. Maybe you've thought of switching engineering disciplines. Well, a PE license may be what you need to make that move. Or maybe you want to start your own engineering company. In most U.S. states, you will need a PE license to do so. You don't need to quit your job. Opting to study for the PE exam doesn't mean that you have to quit your current job role or reduce your working hours. Whether you opt for self-study or use a PE review course, there are many flexible options out there that allow on-demand learning options so you can study at the times that work best for you, your job, and your family. You can prove people wrong. 
Now, proving people wrong is never a good reason to do anything in life. But when someone tells you you can't do something, whether you're too old or it's for other reasons, it can certainly provide added motivation. There's nothing like being able to say, I told you so. And you will set an example for others that may be looking up to you, whether it's colleagues or your children. There you have it. It's easier than ever for experienced engineers to study and pass the PE exam. With so many options available and a variety of benefits to studying, even at an older age, what's stopping you from pursuing your PE license? I hope you found this video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will solve some more PE exam practice problems and answer questions from our subscribers. Pass the PE exam will publish videos weekly, so be sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your exam result. And please ask questions and leave comments below this video and I will respond to you. And let me know if there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover or a problem you need solved. Pass the PE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE exam.